Hi, man, back. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a review on something that I'm really excited that I picked up today. And uh, uh, surprisingly enough, this was available at Toys R Us. Now, one of my buddies um, hit me up and let me know that this was at Toys R Us. Now, this is the Mezco Pinhead from Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. This is a 12 inch scale figure. Um, I originally had this on pre-order for Big Bad Toy Store. Now, if you guys want to pre-order it, click on the link in the description below. But apparently Mezco released this early and they fixed the head sculpt. The head sculpt was a different head sculpt that we're going to use. I'll insert a picture now of what the head sculpt was going to look like. But they fixed it and they gave it a more um, awesome look. Now, I've already seen this out of package because my buddy was actually there when I went to Toys R Us and he took it out of the box. And uh, this thing looks badass. But uh, the packaging right here is very cool. So you have kind of like the puzzle box style packaging. You can see this pinhead right there, Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. And right over here on the side, you still got the design. You got Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth over here. And then you have an image of the figure right here. See, this is a different head sculpt that they use. I don't know why we didn't get another head sculpt with it. Would have been cool if they'd given us an interchangeable head sculpt. Now, there is a little bit of a read-up. So if you guys want to read right there, feel free to pause. Uh, this is based off of the third movie. So if you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. You got an open window right there on the top. So it's a really cool packaging. Uh, Mezco is really killing it right now with what they're doing. And if you guys watched my previous videos, I did a review on the puzzle box. And uh, it's, it's a brand new one that came out and the um, Living Dead Dolls uh, Sam figure. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a close look at Pinhead. So what we're gonna do is get into the accessories, but first um, he does come with this insert right here And it's very cool because you have uh, Looks to be like a room with a bunch of chains just hanging around so you get this to this be really cool for pictures So we got that right there and then he comes with two Interchangeable hands now these are more so to grip onto the the weapons that he does come with but I do like the pain look at the fingers I think that looks really really cool and you can see a little bit of like veins it looks like. So you get those right there. You get, of course, the iconic puzzle box. You can't have a pinhead figure without the puzzle box. So you got this right here. So it looks so dope. See the, de the detailing on here is nice. The sculpting and the paint, really, really cool. So you get the puzzle box. Um, you get two kind of like knives and they have um, opening right here so you can clip them onto the rope. I'll show you guys that in a second. It's a little bit sharp too, so just careful with that. So you got this one, and then you get this one right over here too. This one's kind of a crazy looking one. So you got these, and they look a little bit rusty, so that's very nice. And here we have Pinhead. Now this is such a nice head sculpt. I love this so much. You got the, you got the black eyes, you have like the serious face, and he has that little squinting that he does it a lot in the movie. He has that really, you know, creepy look to him. And um, one thing that I like personally is the pins that they actually use on here are actual, it's actual metal. Unlike NECA, NECA did like a soft rubber material on these which kind of got bent or warped. So you won't have to worry about these and you can see how it kind of like, um, like reflects the, the light off of them. I think that looks awesome. This is just an amazing piece, but I really like how the light reflects off it. I think that looks cool. But look at his eyes. See the eyes look great and you have the line. It looks a little bit purple. Uh, but still looks good and then you can see the lips right here and then his nose But you can see you know the nails or the pins all the way around and then you have this black piece right here And you can see the hooks right there. you can see it kind of bringing the flesh down a little bit or the skin down See that the wrinkles right there. It looks so awesome And then there's his ears, but the head sculpt is on point It's way better than what well, we previously seen in images, but I like the one that's in the back of the box I don't know why we didn't get two different head sculpts or even um uh, his regular human form head sculpt would have been cool, but that wasn't in Hellraiser 3. It was in Hellraiser 2. Uh, so we have the outfit right here. So it's kind of like a glossy black outfit. So it's all pretty much just plastic. There's no cloth on him. And you have the hands right here. This is kind of the open hands to where he's going to be holding onto the puzzle box. So that's how I'm going to be displaying him. And then you have the open, you know, the little pins right here. You can see some of the skin, some flesh, some blood. So the sculpting on this is very nice. And you have the ropes right here where you uh, put on the, uh, you can just you know place these anywhere you want. So just anywhere on there. I'll do that in a second though. And you can see how the rope goes through the piece of the skin right here. And then you have uh, the lower body right here 
where the gown is. Now, it's similar to how NECA did theirs because it's just like a empty piece right here. There's no legs or anything. And it's like a squishy material. And then at the bottom, it's just a flat base. NECA did it to where it's, you know, flat like this, but they had little feet on here. I'll do a comparison in a second. But overall, man, this is nice. Again, it's in the 12-inch scale, but it's uh, super cool. Now, he does have articulation. Very little, though. The head can rotate a bit. The cool thing is you can actually rotate the head, unlike... Um, NECA's, and I'm not bashing NECA's at all, but NECA had like the softer material. So if you try to rotate the head, you kind of would, would bend the, um, the pins. Uh, so he has a little bit of articulation in the head. Uh, it doesn't look like he has any waist rotation. No, no waist rotation. The arms do go in and out. That's as far as you're going to get them. They go forward and back. He's got a swivel at the arm and then, or at the elbow, and then the hand rotates. Same thing here and nothing at the lower part. So of course, you know, it's pretty much just like a, a, almost like a statue, but that's pretty much the figure right here. So what we're gonna do is do a bit of a comparison with this one and the NECA one. So here's a size comparison with NECA's um, 12 inch, or I'm sorry, Mezco's 12 inch and NECA's 18 inch. Uh, I do have uh, the, the seven inch scale one, but I'm doing a uh, comparison with the 18 inch since these are both in bigger in scale. So you can see the differences right there. And then here's a comparison of the head sculpts. So you can see the differences, the looks, so you guys determine which one is the better head sculpt. Let me know in the comments below. And as far as the outfit and everything goes, I mean, of course, obviously the NECA one is a dated one, but you know, this is what I was talking about, how these are like rubber material. I did never really liked it because they get bent, but you know, there's a little bit of a comparison there. You can fit the puzzle box perfectly in his hands too. You just have to adjust them a little bit, but he does hold the box very well. Yeah, guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the Mezco 12 inch Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth pinhead figure so you get the extra hands you get those little um removable weapons that attach to the rope on his body uh, such an amazing piece again i did get this at toys r us but you can pick it up at bigbadtoyster.com and it's for a really cheap price too the thing is only going for i think 40 or 44 dollars which isn't bad for a 12 inch you know horror figure but i'm surprised that toys r us had this in store anyways uh let me know what you guys think about this are you going to pick it up what do you think overall of the final product let me know in the comments below, guys. I really want to know your thoughts on this. And uh, yeah, so give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned. A lot more on the way. Thanks for watching, guys.